My name is Julia Thomerson, Public Programs Coordinator here at the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. Through our exhibits and over 200 programs a year here at the museum, we highlight important people and the roles they play in making country music what it is. Our programs include performances and interviews with songwriters, instrumentalists, producers, executives, and other music makers. We are so pleased to partner with the Nashville chapter of the Audio Engineering Society to present this program and to illuminate the essential role of the engineer in the creation of recorded and live music and to honor these innovators who have the sensitive ears, nimble fingers, and discerning judgment that make everyone else sound fantastic. I'd like to also thank our engineers today, Rod and Dan and the rest of our crew. And everyone here who works tirelessly to make sure that our museum visitors and performing artists have an excellent experience. Today, we will honor the engineers who made Music City known not only for great music, but for superior sound quality. I'd like to turn it over now to Barry Cardinal, chairman of the Nashville section of the Audio Engineering Society. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Nashville AES section committee and over 350 section members, I welcome and thank you for coming to today's Lifetime Achievements Awards Ceremony to honor our recipients and their families. I'm honored to be the current chairman of the AES Nashville section, and I've worked in the music business as an engineer, an archivist, stage manager, and technician since 1974. Today's is the ninth annual AES Lifetime Achievement Awards Honors, and we're honoring six audio architects of the Nashville sound, a sound that has been heard around the world. They are Christian Hazelou for his work in audio education, Hugh Hickerson for his work in broadcast audio engineering, Stan Dacus for his work in location and broadcast engineering, David McKinley for his work in studio engineering and mixing, Glenn Meadows for his work in mastering, and Billy Sherrill for his work in studio engineering and mixing. I understand there are several former recipients in the audience today, so I'm going to divert just for a second and ask if you would stand up and we could give them a round of applause. Thank you. Uh, to those who are not familiar with the term AES, it stands for the Audio Engineering Society. AES is a worldwide organization that started in 1948. It's comprised of over 12,000 members in over 75 professional sections and over 95 student sections. Three of those student sections are based here in Nashville at MTSU, <laughs> Belmont University, and the SAE Institute. The Nashville section is one of the most active sections in the world. We have monthly committee meetings, frequent social hang times, and tech meetings, as well as special events as we are here today. The formal AES mission statement is to promote the science and practice of audio by bringing leading people and ideas together. But if you ask any group of different engineers to define AES, you'll probably get several different answers. To some, it is a worldwide association of recording engineers. To others, it's engineers who invent, design, and build recording studio audio equipment. And then there are the individuals and committees who write and establish and distribute and educate others on important audio standards for recording, playback, and the preservation of sound, as well as those who actually teach and mentor others in the art and profession of recording sound. Others will focus on preserving and promoting an awareness of the history of recording sound and the people who pioneered our profession. 
And some will note that 22 years ago, a worthy and well-known spin-off of the Nashville section was created that resulted in the annual Audio Masters Golf Tournament held here at Harpeth Hills annually. That funds the Nashville Emergency Relief Fund, or NERF, as we call it. NERF is a nonprofit group that supports local engineers when they and their families are facing a life crisis. Lastly, if you were to ask me personally, the Nashville AES section is the finest community, fraternity, brother and sisterhood, and group of best friends that I have ever been blessed to know and be among in my whole life. Similarly, the six individuals whom we honor here today were leaders, teachers, mentors, and brothers to countless others in their professional lives. So today we are here to honor and say thank you to these six individuals and their families. Each recipient or their family members will receive a Lifetime Achievements Awards plaque and be listed on the master plaques, which you can view in the foyer above. Lastly, thank you all for coming today to honor these folks. And again, thank you to the honored recipients on behalf of Nashville's recording community. I'd now like to introduce my good friend and six-time past chairman of the Nashville section, Mike Porter. Mike has not only organized all of today's activities, but he is also the vice president of all AES Central US and Canadian sections. Mike. Good afternoon, here we are again. Um, I did a little housekeeping with the recipients a while ago, and I just want to uh, restate some things. We'll do group photos after this, and we do have, uh, it's a great time for everybody to get together and have kind of a family reunion. Uh, we do need to be kind of clearing out of the room about 4.30 or so to get, uh, because the museum closes at 5, so uh, just be aware of that time right there. Uh, we're here today, and we hope that we can do some honor to the six people who, that, we're, that we're honoring today. Uh, we had, uh, with all the interviews we did, we had probably over eight or ten hours worth of video material, and we have to whittle that down to 15 minutes per individual. So in no way can we do justice to their entire story. Uh, we did not list all their credits on albums, but I would encourage you to go to discography and look some of that up uh, and continue your own uh, education. Um, this year, I think we're encompassing most of what our mission involves, education, technical work, uh, location recording, and uh, studio recording as well. Um, we have probably over 250 years of experience represented here today. Um, in all cases of the videos that we're showing today, they are told by the recipients themselves. It's their stories uh, interspersed with some interviews from some friends and other people in the industry. 